Hi everyone, my name is Kay Kaltoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Today I'm going to show you how to create this card. It uses a stamp set called Kinda Eclectic. We actually got this as a free stamp set at convention. It looks like this and it's so versatile. I mean at first when I saw it I thought, oh my goodness, what can I do with this? But if you start using it in kind of a collage -y sort of way, the sky's the limit on what you can do. So here's the outside of the card and this by itself makes a real beautiful card. But when you open it up there's another surprise and you can see that there's a pop-out frame. And So I'm going to teach you how to make this pop-out frame card and let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to need is a piece of whisper white paper. You want this cut at five and a half by eight and a half and you do not want to score it. The reason is is we want to do all of our stamping before the score line comes in because once that score line is in then when you stamp you'll be um, you'll, you'll notice that there's a line right through your stamping so you definitely want this without score marks. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to need a template so that you know where to stamp that that bold sun and this template now I did go ahead and score this template just because I wanted the guidelines for um, for where to put my circle when I cut it out so this is the template for the pop-out frame using the kinda eclectic so that we have to have this big circle here for our sun so this is cut at 5 by 8 and I just made it in black paper so it would show up real good against the white and then using our circle framelits and we have one through nine of the smooth circles I'm using number eight to cut out the template now we can go ahead and using this large sun I'm going to ink it up and tango twist or tangelo twist I don't know how to say it everybody can just make fun of me but not really good at saying words that I don't see very often. And living in Minnesota, whatever tangellos are, we don't have them here. Maybe in the grocery store, but honestly, I don't think I've ever bought one. Unless they're like clementines, then I've bought them. So I've gone ahead and I've stamped the sun, and that's really the only reason we need this template, because we want the sun to be in the center of our card. Now we can go ahead and we can stamp these... Um, little dots and we're just going to put them maybe one here and then one here. Now actually if you look closely at these dots they do have some words in. Um, not really words but just like little sort of typewritery type things and so I didn't want those to be upside down so I just I just made a couple of marks um, with an ink pen on the back of my stamp so that I would not have that upside down when I stamped it. And then of course we are going to need some leaves. Now I'm inking this up in, what is this color here? This is Mossy Meadow. So all of these colors that we're using today are from the new In Colors for the 2014-16 series. So this was Hello Honey, this was Tangelo Twist, and this was uh, Mossy Meadow. The next color that we're going to use from this same color series is Lost Lagoon and we're just going to stamp a butterfly about right here and then we're going to stamp another butterfly using Blackberry Bliss and we'll just put him down here. And now the inside of our card is complete. And so now I can go ahead and on my Simply Scored scoring tool I am going to score at four and one quarter. So I'm just going to take this to my scoring tool, score it at four and a quarter so that I can go ahead and fold this. And we can go ahead and do that right now. And that is our card base. And you can see how when I folded it, the sun is right in the middle just where I wanted it. All right, now the next step is to make the pop out part of the card. And here is the directions for that. You want a 5 by 8 inch cardstock to start with, and then you'll score it at 2, 4, and 6. So 5 by 8, scored at 2, 4, and 6, and this is in the paper color called Hello Honey. Then you're going to cut out the very center, just center it right in the middle, um, using the circle 
number seven. So one smaller than our template. And then we can go ahead and we can fold all of this. So we're going to fold this just like so. And then we can go ahead and put it into our card. So it looks like this. So you can see how it's all folded. And now it's time to put it in our card. And I'm kind of folding it every which way because I want it pretty flexible. So here's our card, and to put it into the card, what I do is I just make sure that all of this is centered. So I'm, I'm looking at all of my edges and making sure that the edges are the same all the way around, and then I'm lining up that center score line so that that all lines up. Then I'm going to take some Fast Fuse. Let me grab some Fast Fuse here. And I'm just going to fold back this side. And I'm going to put my fast fuse right along here and then I just merely push it down. And I'm going to do the same thing over here so I'm just folding this over. I'm going to put the fast fuse here. Fast fuse is a little bit of a stronger adhesive which is good for for pop outs and things like that because they get a little bit more wear and tear and you want those to stay down very sturdily. Alright so Let's go ahead and make sure that this is working good. So you can see that this is the front of the card and you open it up and we have our pop out complete. Now I think it's a nice idea just to take um, that little butterfly and just kind of carry that butterfly theme through by stamping a butterfly on the inside panel there. Alright, so now let's work on the front of the card. The front of the card is going to, you're going to have two pieces of paper. This is four by five and a quarter of Hello Honey. And we can just go ahead and um, put this right on the front of our card. There's nothing stopping us. So I'm going to use a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue. And we're just going to set this right here, centering it in so that all of our edges are even. All right, and now the next part where we are going to do some stamping. This is at three and a half by four and three fourths. And let me go ahead and get some scrap paper into the picture. And the first thing that we're going to do is stamp the leaf. And that is going to be stamped down here in the lower right hand corner. And then we're going to stamp those dots just like we did on the inside. Stamp those right here. And then I think we will stamp the words. We have um, some nice words in this stamp set. And I'll just put those right above the leaf. And the next thing that we'll do is stamp that butterfly in Blackberry Bliss. Stamp him right there. And then finally we need our sun up here in the corner. So I'm inking up the sun with Tangelo Twist. We're going to bring this over here and just stamp the sun up here in the corner. There we go. And our the front panel is done. So then we can take some, some uh, snail. If I can find some here. Here we go. We'll just put a little snail on the back of this. We'll bring our card back into the picture and you're just going to center this on the front of your card like so. And the, the card is complete. So here's the, the front and the inside. And here's the other card that we did. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Have a great day, and thanks so much for stopping by Stamping to Share. I truly appreciate you. If you'd ever like to order Stampin' Up! products, just follow the link, www.stampingtoshare.com. Bye-bye.